Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. I am associated with teaching institution and deal with endocrine problems. Diabetes is a very favorite uh, subject for me and uh, we have a large number of patients coming to us with diabetes. Uh, in personally, uh, uh, what I found that most of the patients coming to us do not have their glucose level very well controlled and they lack education about diabetes itself. They do not understand the seriousness of the disease and many times they have been told that they might develop some disease, some complications of the disease, particularly they may have a renal disease or eye disease, but actually they don't understand uh, how much should be the sugar level, how this should be controlled and how frequently they should uh, come to the diabetic clinic for further checkup uh, to see if their other organs are also affected. Um, uh, the, uh, the common organ which are affected in diabetes is kidney, eyes, nerves uh, um, very frequently and uh, then uh, some patients contract infection uh, particularly of genital part and uh, frozen shoulder many times they develop frozen shoulder and they complain that their, their limitations they have a limitations in moving their joints particularly the shoulder joints and that restricts their physical activity uh, and they blame the poor sugar control to this because they have not been able to uh, do physical activity uh, the other associate problem is osteoarthritis in majority of these uh, type 2 diabetic patients because they are uh, little overweight or obese and uh, they are in their 40s, 50s or 60s uh, which is time for development of degenerative osteoarthritis. That also limits their physical activity and that poses a problem in control of blood glucose. Uh, we advise very uh, regular physical activity around 30 percent uh, 30 minutes per day for at least five days a week and if they stop it for more than 72 hours the effect of exercise wanes off so uh, uh, many times patients say that sugar level has become uncontrolled for last seven days or 15 days when they have stopped doing physical activity and that is true the physical activity which has been done and that has brought down the glucose level will be uh, nullified after stopping the exercise for about 72 hours. So if you go for exercise, you continue to do it. Otherwise, the, the, there would be fluctuation in the blood glucose level. And uh, this is not due to drug which patient is taking or not due to the, uh, the, the physicians who has given advice for control of blood glucose. So uh, physical activity is important, very regular visit to diabetic clinic is also important uh, and then as suggested by the physician, the frequency of blood glucose checking by self or self monitoring blood glucose that complements in fact the uh, level of glycemia, uh, euglycemia achieved and um, that translates into uh, benefits in terms of uh, reducing microvascular complications. So uh, the patient education is very important and uh, this should be done in a way not to frighten your patients, not to, to, uh, to dishearten them that they have got a very serious disease in their life. You know, this has to be passed on to them that uh, nothing to worry but then take it serious and uh, try to understand your disease and live with it happily because this is a kind of uh, discipline uh, and you have to take promise to maintain that discipline and uh, I'm sure nobody would deny that uh, discipline um, uh, is not good for living. So uh, diabetic patients should uh, be educated time to time about the uh, use of drugs, about the checking of blood glucose, uh, frequency of visit to the clinics, uh, doing physical activity and if they have any underlying problem, whether it is related or it is unrelated to diabetes in their knowledge should always be communicated to their treating physicians because many times they think that uh, a general physician or home remedy 
will take care of uh, problem. For example, if somebody has unit tract infection, they think that uh, fever uh, is not a serious issue and uh, some paracetamol will help. But in fact, they have a unit tract infection and due to that, they have uh, fever and uh, uh, worsening of glucose level and they must approach their treating physician about this. If treating physicians think that the problem is not related to disease, diabetes, he might refer back it to uh, general physician or family physician for management of uh, common ailments. So uh, this kind of education is very important and face to face on individual basis uh, actually is better than um, uh, a group uh, education. If you have uh, too many patients sitting in a hall and giving them a common education, uh, might, a few might be wondering about their own problem. They don't care for others. So uh, it's better to uh, give education face to face when uh, they come to you, to your clinic uh, on individual basis and uh, try to focus on these. Uh, I know in a busy clinic it may be a little difficult, but then little thing done to your patients will always be of great help to them. So I think uh, we can have more sessions on it. Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com.